welcome to QLab. In today's video, we're going to be exploring what happens when we mix static and fire. If you want to follow along, you'll need the um, Leyden jar that we made in a previous video, and I'll put that up here just in case you missed that one, and a candle. That's all we're going to need. So, let's get started. So if we charge this up about 200 times like I did in the previous video, I'll just bring a candle, a uh, match in now. <gasps> that really shocked me. I wasn't expecting it to jump that far. Let's try and do that again. So I've charged it about 200 times again. Watch closely as I bring the, can the match in. So what's happening when we observe that flame sort of moving towards the static charge? Well, we can think about what a flame is. It's a plasma, and a plasma is just a fancy word for lots of ionised gas. And ionised just, it means there's, it's got ions present. Cations that are positive, and anions that are negative. What do you think these are going to do when we introduce large charges? Well, if we move this candle closer to that negative charge, we can remember that opposite charges attract. So the positively charged cations will move towards that negative charge. But like charges repel, and so the negative ions will move away from that charge. And what we can end up seeing is a candle that looks like this where you have part of the flame being pulled towards the charge and another part being pushed away and this occurs exactly the same on the positive charge but the other way around with the positive being repelled and the negative being attracted now I really wanted to see if I could get the voltage to arc through multiple candles so I've charged up the Leyden jar. I'm just going to tip it so that the electrode or the nail is pointing into one candle. I'll bring in a nail from the other side. Now you can see there's no arc, but that flame is moving again. And you could hear a little bit of noise. So I'm going to try and attach a lead instead to this nail because it'll be easier. Oh, you can see a little bit of the static as I attach the nail. Now I'm just going to bring in positive and the negative nail into the candles just to see if I can get it to arc. Nothing. Nothing at all. It was quite disappointing. Well I struggled a lot to try and get the charge pass through multiple flames but I have to say I wasn't successful and I think it was because the air gaps between the flames were probably too great and so my charge difference that voltage I had stored up wasn't great enough to arc through multiple candles we got some really nice footage through a single candle I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned a little bit 
we've only got one more video left for static electricity, and that'll be detecting static electricity. So it should be quite a nice one. It's going to be a different build. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Take care and see you next time.